Okay guys, so I thought that I would bring your attention to some more weather anomalies that we are now observing around our planet. Now I'd like to thank Chris for bringing my attention to this article on news.com.au which was published on the 1st of July and it's in relation to the Indian Ocean Dipole weather event which is going to bring a deluge to Australia. And they are warning that we could get up to 80% more rainfall as we head into September than is usual for this time of year. And they're also saying that winter is also going to be a lot cooler than average. Now, this is all due to the Indian Ocean. And they're saying that this is shaping up to be the strongest influence on our weather this winter. Now, this is a three-monthly climate forecast, and it was released on Thursday. So I find it very interesting that we are now having rainfall events in the north of Australia, which is a tropical area, which really only sees two seasons a year and that is the wet season and the dry season and the wet season is from February to late April and now they are saying that we are going to be seeing rain in which is typically the dry season up in the north of Australia so definitely this is something very significant. Now we're also seeing more cold vents and we have snow predicted in the northwest US this weekend according to the Washington Post and this article which was published on the 7th of July and they're warning that uh, we can see very cold temperatures forecast through southwest Montana eastern Idaho and western Wyoming on Monday and they're saying that it may be an astonishing 30 degrees colder. And we're also seeing temperatures plunging in Canada with this article from the Weather Network and this was published on the 8th of July and it goes on to warn that plunging temperatures prompt frost warnings in Atlantic Canada and they're warning that there could be problems with the frost destroying their plants and crops. So as we can see we are definitely still experiencing these unseasonal cold events. Now another interesting article is about the extent of ice in the Arctic Basin which is above the mean. They're going on to say that it's actually 500 square kilometres above the mean. And they are also registering averages above the mean in the Bering Sea Ice, the Barents Sea Ice. It goes on to say that although it has been below the mean for quite some time, it is now nearly half a million square kilometres above the mean and still climbing. So again, we can still see that these changes are continuing with these weather anomalies and it looks as though we are continuing to move into a colder climate. Now, anyone who is paying attention knows that this is because of the cycle that we exist in and now we are moving towards the end of a cycle we are beginning to see all of these changes reflected in the events that basically are relating to the physical, but this is because there's a spiritual element behind everything. And if we don't account for the spiritual element behind everything, then we're not going to really understand why this is occurring. We're only going to see half of the picture. And so when we look at the symbolism of the serpent eating the tail or the Ouroboros, this is showing us the cycle and how everything basically is part of a cycle 
And at the end of the cycle, it resolves into itself. Everything resolves into itself once again. And we can actually see this in the verses from the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, the verses that survived, because we don't actually have much of the Gospel of Mary Magdalene still intact. But it goes on to say here, Will matter then be destroyed or not? The Saviour said, All nature, all formations, all creatures exist in and with one another, and they will be resolved again into their own roots. For the nature of matter is resolved into the roots of its own nature alone. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And this is also relating to only people that are willing to have a real understanding for truth and knowledge are going to understand this type of information. Because if people only want to see everything in a physical way, then they will not really have an understanding for the spiritual nature of these events. And so they will dismiss all of the other information and then they will continue to be confused as to why we are now seeing all of these changes within our climate and this escalation on the political side of things because everything's connected. And if you don't understand that there's a spiritual element behind everything, then you will just continue to be very confused and not really aware of why all of these events are transpiring. So we have to understand that everything's connected. Science and spirit are connected and there's a reason that all of this is happening. Now, we also see in the Gospel of Thomas, the disciples said to Jesus, tell us how will our end come? And Jesus said, have you found the beginning then that you are looking for the end? You see, the, inning, the, the end will be where the beginning is. Congratulations to the one who stands at the beginning. That one will know the end and will not taste death. Again, this is all about the cycle that we exist in. And we're now in the last degrees of the Iron Age about to move back into the golden age and so we are experiencing these huge changes on our planet and it's happening on all the levels all the planes the mental the spiritual and the physical and so unfortunately only the majority of people will focus on the physical and they will negate the spiritual and the mental but if you really want to have an understanding for the times that we are existing in, you need to embrace all of the causal planes and that is the mental, the spiritual and the physical because the physical is really only an extension of the mental and the spiritual. And we see this with Steiner's quote from the elemental spirits of birth and death and he goes on to say, the time has come for humanity to know certain truths concerning the spiritual background to the physical world. If people are not going to be prepared to accept these truths out of their own goodwill, they will be forced to learn them from terrible events that will happen as time goes on. And so nobody is going to escape what's inevitable. We are all at the mercy of events that are much more bigger than just what we experience throughout our lives on the physical plane. And so if we don't acknowledge these greater forces that we are governed by, then we will suffer due to our ignorance. And so we don't want to be in that position. We do want to have an understanding for everything that's happening in these times so that we can prepare for what's approaching because just having wishful thinking and believing that things won't happen merely because we don't want to believe that they will happen is not really going to put us in a very beneficial situation for when these events do occur because they are occurring 
and we can see that we're still seeing these anomalies happening all around our planet due to these earth changes and these earth changes are connected to the political events and how they're escalating and as I said this is all because there is a spiritual element behind everything. Well I'll leave all of these articles underneath guys and you can check that out for yourself and as always peace out.